Okay, so first we have to learn some of the basic strokes. And what do I mean by strokes? Well, there are certain brush strokes that are used when we write Japanese calligraphy. Now, we won't learn all of these, but I do want to show you a few of the basic ones and it will help you when you write the Japanese characters. Okay, the first one is called yokoga, which means line going to the side. Okay, so from left to right, you're just going to draw a line going to the side. Uh, one thing you don't want to do, though, is have the line going down at all, right? Down to the right. Um, if anything, it should go up and to the right a little bit. And that way your line will be more balanced. Uh, if you notice, when I draw the line here, even though this is on the iPad, it still kind of makes that little notch. Uh, that's kind of what you're looking for. So kind of stop and then draw your line. Stop and then draw your line. All right, the next one is called tatega, which means a uh, straight line. So you're gonna wanna draw from up to down. Okay, so stop and then draw a line down. Try to draw your line as straight as possible. Uh, if you notice, uh, this line is going over to, towards the left a little bit, um, but it should go straight down, okay? Now it's going to get a little bit harder. So the next one is called Hidari Harai. And for this one, you're going to want to put your pen down, draw the line, and at the very end, you're going to lift your pen up. So it kind of makes the, like a little point, okay? And this is important. You don't want it to have a blunt end. You want that point at the end, okay? So remember, put your pen down, lift up, and you're going to be able to get that point. The next one is called Migi Harai, and this one is the most difficult stroke to master. So don't worry if you don't get it. It's difficult for me, especially on an iPad when I'm not using, you know, a regular pen or, or a brush. But what you want to do is put your pen down, draw toward the right, and then lift up at the very end. So you kind of get a little point. So hopefully it'll be thin at the top and thick at the bottom. That's kind of what you're looking for. But don't worry if you don't get it. I mean, it's really difficult. Okay, so this next one gets a little bit easier. This one is called ore. And basically, you just want to draw uh, like an angle, you know, a corner. And that's basically it. As long as you have a corner, then, then that's what you're looking for. The one thing you don't want to do is make it round. Okay, so make sure you get that nice straight corner. And that's it. This next one is called Hane. So you're gonna draw that straight line down, but at the very end, you're going to come back and lift your pin up. Uh, you don't wanna make it long though. So don't draw a line down and then kind of make it really long. You want it to be short at the very end and maybe about 45 degrees is the best. And it's the same thing for the right. So draw the line down and lift your pin up at the end. This one is called Magari. And for this one, you just want to make kind of a curved line. Okay. Um, as long as it's curved, that's what you want. You don't want it straight. You don't want that straight corner uh, like we did with the ore. Um, no, you want to make it curved. And there are different types. Some curves don't come out as much. And sometimes you might have a little bit of a hane at the end. Um, but it's just basically a curved line. The last one is called ten. And basically what it is is just a little short line. Uh, the one thing you want to be careful of is not to make it long. Okay, no. Just short lines. That's it.